Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at Digital Construction Week. And I'm here with Carl from Multivista, a company part of the Hexagon Group. Carl, I love visualness, as they say. I love making everything visual to people. This is why we're doing this video. But I like people to understand what's going on, but having a real world application and a real time sense of what's going on. And that's why when I found you guys, I was like, gonna come and talk to you because Brilliant. That's what you do. Explain a little bit about all these different things that come together to visualize in real time the site. In its simplest form, we're taking pictures of what's yep. happening on site, dishing them up online so that everyone remembers what they do. We're looking at the site from lots of different angles, using lots of different camera technologies Correct. to actually create that connected visual 3D site in, in some respects as well. Correct. And, um, how are people using that to actually be better at constructing, be safer and, and actually accessing that information to use? It gives everybody remote visibility. Right. So from whether you're in the construction phase, being able to actually see what's happening on the project from the other side of the world or from a site cabin, which is a 20 minute walk to actually get to room four on level 14. You can just pull open Multivista, have a look at what's happening in that room peel back the layers if you wish, or just look at a specific image that you know you need to get information from. So whether it's real-time info you're after, or historical information you're after, during construction or 20, 30 years into the asset's existence, you'll, you'll be able to pull that information up through, through all sorts of stuff. So it's like unpeeling the structure or the building like a banana peel. X-ray eyes. X-ray eyes. So we are looking through walls. I know people say, Digital technology is not about looking through walls, but it fundamentally can be when you've got, you know, the, the site where there's no walls, when and you then you've got the data when they're building those and they're building the structures and everything that goes with it. If you have a forensic memory of yep. what's happened on your project, you will always have a superior set of information to help manage the risks that can occur during the build phase or, or long after during the facilities management phase. So it's a bit like CSI folks, we can actually see if there's a problem later on down uh, in the line, what happened when, what are the assets there, what's behind that particular part of the structure, and instead of damaging perhaps another utility which is right next to, say, a wiring that's gone wrong or something, then you've actually been able to take that and go, wow, there's a visual element to that there. Correct, and we can catch issues before they become bigger, uglier problems as well. So, you know, if you're building a 50-story tower and you're wanting to be interrogating the information on levels five, six, seven, to ch check that you're, you're doing the right thing, to check that the quality's there, yep. it's, it's such an easy tool to be able to manage out uh, the, the mistakes, do some lessons learned sessions early, and, and, and drill out the problems that have been happening on those early stages before you, you do it 50 times uh, a bigger problem. So what's really interesting for me is real time we can see things happening, but also what we can do is share this data with the people that matter. What I hate about data is people not using it effectively. And, what, and so you're talking visual data here, but when we talk about this, you can access it from a connected device, through web portals and things like that, but you can actually look at a dashboard to show somebody that's in control of that section or that part and, and just give them the data, can't you? Explain how that happens. In its simplest form, yeah, we're, we're, we're centralizing that information. I don't know whether the viewers will see it in the video here, but we just have a simple dashboard where the images are linked to exactly the right location on, there, on a project floor plan. Yep. And, and it's not just 2D imagery, it's videography, it's uh, drone data when you know, big uh, sites in the early stages, say when it's, a lot of muck's being moved, really good yep. way of capturing information, or roof surveys, for example. Yep. It's just easier to fly a, fly a drone in the sky and capture that data. And then moving, moving through, you know, 360 photos are a very quick way of gathering very large spaces. And then um, some of our Hexagon sister companies, so Leica Geosystems, for example, create the world's best, in my opinion, uh, laser scanning and, and software solutions. So we, we can deploy them on the project centralize that information into one place so that so that users can gather information whether they need me measurable information or not doesn't matter and um, they can just go for a, a simpler option such as photograph it and there's a lot to learn from anything like this there's a lot to learn from all sorts of different projects particularly if you're doing replication projects like building uh, towers next to each other and things yeah. so you can visually see not just the structure itself we can also look at how we manage the site and how we manage flows of materials and people and safety and how we address safety and, and say, look, we can actually 
make a site safer or we can do things differently that makes it more productive. Talk to me about that. I'd put safety into two core categories. I'd put it into health and safety on the site, yep. uh, at which we have solutions like our webcams that can help track plant and vehicle movements and make sure that the site is site's not got too many people moving into the right area, yep. uh, wrong, right or wrong areas. But I would, take, I would call, call building safety far more significant and right. far more important. Okay. We only have to look back a few years at the tragedy of, of Grenfell Tower. Yep. And, and that was just because not enough eyes were looking at what was happening on site, or not the right qualified eyes were looking at it. Yep. Now, that's what we're doing. We're giving, we're giving our users the ability to see every single square inch of their project, peel back the layers, go back in time. And, and that will make uh, buildings safer. And we, we, we've, we've developed now uh, artificial intelligence that can help check for common quality issues. So take an internal partition wall, for example. Yep. It can be built perfectly. A fire stopping engineer might use some app to take a picture of their beautifully installed fire stopping. Six months passes, the building's just about to be completed. And during those six months, you know, a data cable guy's punched a hole through a fire rate of wall someone else has messed up some of the fire stopping. So our artificial intelligence, we can do a sweep just prior to, to the construction completing. Analyze that imagery and, 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 and use our artificial intelligence to do things exponentially faster than any human could look at the images that we've captured and, and then dish up um, a task list for, for, for the contractors go, all right, here's some holes in fire rate walls, go finish those before, before you get the job over the line. So it's massively speeding up um, the, the handover process, which can sometimes be a bit, a bit touchy, a bit of a touchy moment, but also um, providing a much safer building. And that's, the, you know, people want to just go home to somewhere they can sleep at night. Absolutely. So it's safety all round, really. And it's really having that visualisation that shows people what we've got in the whole process. And when we've got that, we've got a lifetime of data until that building needs to be demolished. And guess what, folks? When it's being demolished, you're peeling back the layers and you'll know what's there. So hopefully you'll be able to recycle 100% of the building. And that whole visualisation, that map, that complete 3D model as such, of the site is there until that structure comes to the end of its life. Great to meet you here you today. And it's really exciting to see how we're using technologies, bringing them all together to make everything work better on site. Cheers. Thank you very much.